Hey, Rhonda, welcome to the show. What is your name? What is your company? And what's your problem? I am Rhonda Sosby. My company name is Coach Rhonda Sosby. And my problem is messaging. Ooh, messaging. All right, let's be specific. What are you messaging? And as I always ask, why? Well, um, messaging to me is explaining who I am and what I do. But there's so many parts to what I do. Like, okay. and so the, the messaging part is like, what do I, how do I pick it? How do I decide what to go with? Or do I have a few, you know, different messages? All right. Okay. So we're not looking at the platform of messaging. We're on about your actual message yourself. What it is you do and for the person to receive it. All right. So let's break it down even further. Why do you want to get your message out there? Because I want to get my work out there. I help or empower women who have left abusive relationships to heal and create a life of freedom that okay. they absolutely love. All right. So you want it. Okay. So we know the target market. Um, but what's the point of you doing? And I, I, I'm apologizing now ahead of me asking irritating questions, but it breaks it down to its, its basics. Um, what's the point of you doing all this messaging? Again, you know, we know the target market, but what's the point for you? The point for me is, is to help these women that need help. And for me, I want to, I want my message to be compelling and to reach the right people. To get them to do what? To get them to join my workshop. There we go. All right. So we, we got there. We got there. The reason we message is to create an action uh, and a reaction. So we send our messaging out to get you to buy our book. We send our messaging out to get you involved in our coaching, join our foundation, join our cause, join our community, whatever. But you've got to understand it's a two-way street, but you've always got to ask yourself is, where does it come back to me? I actually know some people that have got some fantastic messaging, some fantastic branding, and there's no reaction to it. You know, where, where, hey, I love what you said. Now what? Okay. So there's two things you've got to think about. You want to get your messaging out to create an emotional trigger, a reaction to get them to do X. Correct? Yes. All right. Okay. So knowing there's a two-way street, first of all, let's head towards them. It's irrelevant what you say. It's critical how it's received. Mm. Okay. So this is how we, you see, if I sit here, we're, we're all smiling and happy and we're having a great time, but let's just say for argument's sake, I said to you, um, I sent you a text and the downside with messaging is unless it's got audio or video attached to it, it turns up in just a scramble of words, okay? The recipient adds the tone based in the mood that they are in. That makes total sense. Let me give you an example. I text you, Rhonda, about having a drink with me tomorrow night. So I go, Rhonda, let's have a drink, 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Uh -huh. You've had a really bad day. In fact, you've just got off the phone with a client that you're trying to help, but is so stubborn and stuck in the woods that they're not going to do anything about it. And it's aggravating you because you can help them, but you're not getting through. You're feeling very angry, very tense. You see my text and you go, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do what he orders. <laughs> now I haven't meant it as an order. Right. But because I haven't given you the tonality of my voice, my sparkling eyes, whatever it is, because I've just given you a jumble of words, you add the tone to the message received. Oh. Now, if you're in a really happy mood, yeah, I'd love to go and have a beer with Steve. Yeah, I'll be. You add that tone. So the way that we do it is we try to remove the element of confusion. One of the easiest ways in any of your messaging is to create an, a, an ability for it to be received in audio or video. Okay. How do you feel about audio and video? I prefer video, but. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah. Great. Excellent. Anyway. <coughs> audio gets you two thirds of the way there. Video gets you all the way there. 
Do you know the other beautiful thing about sending someone a video? I have never spelled anything wrong in a video in my life. <laughs> you know, it's great. So, and you can get so much more across because now you are bringing in your enthusiasm. You're bringing in your tonality. You could be speaking Dutch, Swahili, whatever. But if you're bringing all this excitement with you, they can't yeah. help but get attracted to it. But more importantly, they can't confuse it. Yeah. Okay? So the first thing is the delivery method itself needs to be as clear as possible to the recipient. Okay. You've got that video. Click one. Oh, or tick one, should we say. Video is great. The next thing you do is within that video, you know that you want to create a trigger to create a reaction. Okay. Okay. Creating a trigger. You know, you, you can say things like, oh, you ever had a bad hair day? You know, that will trigger you. Oh, God, I've had bad hair days. You know, yeah. me, not so much. <laughs> but anyone with hair, yes, you know. Are you feeling a little bit overweight? Do you have a headache? You know, Or do you have a pain in the back? How's your teeth hurting now? Do any of these things create a relatable trigger? To go, oh, I've had that. You know, how messed up are you at work? How do you not want to be in a relationship that's abusive? Or are you, here's what, here's one that's really rude, and I apologize in advance. Are you comfortable being in the relationship you are? Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's going to make people go, I am not. Yeah, exactly. And when, you, when you create a trigger, it creates a reaction. Yeah. And then it can be, hey, I can help you. Trigger solution. Gotcha. Best marketing ever, ever done in the planet was tense, nervous headache. Take aspirin. Or even simpler, have a Coke and a smile. Do you remember those? Yes, I do. <laughs> These things were iconic branding. Why? Because there was no confusion. Have a Coke, have a smile. Yeah. Forget, forget about the calories he's going to give you. Have a smile, you know? <laughs> So in your messaging, you create it via video so it gets more of you across, rem removes any kind of potential of confusion. You think you've written something brilliant. It ain't important. It's how the other person's receiving it yeah. is imperative. So if you've done the first channel correctly, does your message – we're going to get back into the message in a second. Does it create a reaction? Does it spike? Does it poke the bear? And That's then does your call to action provide a solution to eliminate the trigger and pain that you have just created? You know, I'll, I'll literally go to people and go, how messy is your website? Are you comfortable with that? You know, and of course, what do people go? No, of course. Not. Well, don't worry about it. Let me help you. Yes. Poke, solve. And so it is simple. So now what we do is we get, look, you know me by now. I am simple, you know, <laughs> not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm certainly the impactful one. Um, so here's the scoop. We now know the platform uh, or the vehicle to use video. We know that it's got to do two things, poke the bear and then provide a solution, create your trigger, form a reaction. Okay, so now that we know all of those things, the reaction is going to send them back to a destination which is going to help them with the trigger. So if it's in your coaching, the message can relate to something in your coaching, maybe something that you've done with one of your clients. Hey, my clients often come to me with this problem. Do you have that problem? Uh, okay. By coming to my coaching, we can work on making sure that's no further an issue. Now, it may be, hey, you're sitting at home thinking, is there a better way to do it? I wrote a book on just that. So the point is, you've got the right vehicle in video. Mm -hmm. But the reaction and, and where they're actually going to go, in, that's going to change. Gotcha. So you don't need, there will be multiple messages. So what we want to do is... We want to find out, and you need to write this down, not, not now, you don't need to do it now, but for your, for your homework, should I say, 
You need to write down where are the destinations, and you're working in reverse now. Okay. Where are the destinations you want your message to send them to before you've written your message? Okay. Am I telling people to go and get my book? Am I telling people to do my coaching? Am I telling people to subscribe to my blog? Am I telling people to visit my YouTube channel? Where's the destination? And then work in reverse. Okay. So from the destination, I've often got this problem. That's why I created this YouTube channel. That's why I released this book. That's why I've been coaching for XYZ years. And then establish the problem that's going to poke the trigger. Okay. So you've worked in reverse. What products do you have? Well, I have a workshop. Um, and then I have a small item called a victory board. Which is a victory board guide. How to create a victory board. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. So you've got two ports for them to come back to. So now you've just got to work in reverse to get them to it for people on say, and you mentioned the victory board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what's the point of people going to your victory board? It's for them. It's a guide to help them create similar to a vision board, but instead of focusing on the vision, you're focusing on the victory. You're okay. Celebrating yourself and building your confidence. So and why do they need a victory board? Vision board to keep them. So the victory board is is a vision board cut in half. The top okay. half is their vision. And when they accomplish it, they move it down to the victory half. What does this do for them? It, it increases their self-worth, their self-esteem, and most importantly, their confidence. All right. Okay. They can see as they move it down and they're guided to celebrate themselves. Celebrate that accomplishment. Okay. So visually they can track their growth. Yes. Okay. So by them being able to move this from here to here, it's now celebrating a victory, which is eliminating a little bit more of that self-doubt. Okay. Yes. So yeah. you poke them. How comfortable are you with your confidence? How, how do you feel about your self-worth? Do you ever feel as though you don't deserve X, Y, Z? I've received that many times, and that's why I created the victory board. Complete this and get your victory board today. You see where we've gone? Yes. You know, we've sent the message out, which establishes, and here's where a lot of people have a problem. A lot of people say, I want to get out to the masses. No, you don't. You want to get out to your people that have the same problem that you are the solution to. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you want to speak as clear as possible. You don't want the masses. Mm -hmm. You want the people that you can help. Exactly. The masses are 50 million people on your Facebook channel, <laughs> but your clients are the 10 people that you are creating impact with. Right. So fine tune your message. Now, do you look after men? No, I only work with women. Bingo. Right. I only work with women in abusive relationships. In the last X years, I've discovered these are the three things to help you realize you're in an abusive relationship. Are you in that relationship? That is why I formed so you're, you're establishing the very clear problem of who you work with, who you deal with, what the problem is, and you're now giving them an out and more importantly, sending them to a direction. Don't be widespread. Don't dilute your brand. Don't dilute your message. If, in fact, if anything, and I've often said this, unlike this, uh, this conversation we're having now, brevity is key. The less you say, the greater the impact and less confusion. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so do you do a lot of video messaging now? I don't. Okay. So, you know, we've all, I guarantee you somewhere within your arm's reach, you've got one of these things. Yes. Every single phone in the planet now has a camera that's better than anything Hollywood had five years ago. Yeah. You can shoot a brilliant video. Okay. Keep it relaxed. Keep it basic. Keep it clear. 
keep it short. And then you can text it out. You can email it out. You can stick it up on Facebook, any of the socials, making sure that there's a call to action where they go. You can even, and I've tried this many times, if you are wondering, are you in an abusive relationship? Text the word, and we're going to that in a second, to, and then give them a text number. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a lot of texting groups out there. One of my favorites is a company called Textiful. There's Community. Um, there's text work. There's a whole bunch of them out there. But you can actually give people what they call a short code, where, like mine is text SIMS to 33777, you know? Yeah. And then when you text me, I can contact you by text and go, hey, do you have this problem? This is how I may be able to help. And you're getting that data. You can email them. You can text them. You can communicate with them. But now you identify who you are. Do they have the problem? And you can work directly with them if they do. Awesome. You make so it how, simple. How are you messaging now? Um, Facebook message. So you're literally writing copy on Facebook posts. Facebook post, yes. And I have a Facebook group. Okay. And you're not putting a video up there? No. All right. So here's what people are going to tell you. And they are right. And they are so right, they are wrong. People are going to say, don't put videos up because people won't watch videos. People will read. So if you do put a video up there, make sure it's got subtitles underneath it so people can watch it and read it without having the volume up. That's what people are going to tell you. Gotcha. I'm telling you that's bullshit. Okay. okay. I want to hear the tonality in your voice. Can you imagine if we were having this conversation now, but instead of us actually speaking, I'd be moving my lips and just the text would be coming up underneath it. And it'd be a case of, <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're losing the tonality. You're losing the expression. You're losing the height and emphasis on certain words and terms. Exactly. It would lose its impact. Exactly. How many clients do you want? Do I want? Yeah. Oh. Let me rephrase it. Okay, Rhonda, how many clients can you handle? Can I handle? I, I do group coaching and I like... 15 to 20. So we're talking about 15 to 20 people have got to like you. You could stand in a supermarket and strike up conversations and get half that. Okay. So what they want to do is I don't want to have to work too hard to know if I like Rhonda. Mm -hmm. I already know I've got the problem. My only question is, is Rhonda my solution? Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't confuse me by trying to be too pretty, too smart, too articulate above what you are. Mm -hmm. I want to see the raw you. Mm -hmm. If you can put a video out there going, hey, my name's Wanda Sosbury. This is what I do. And you're talking to me, I can go, I like her voice. I like her tonality. I like her glasses. I like her hair. Hey, all decisions done. I know I've got a problem. She's the solution. I can connect with her. You're only looking for 15 or 20 people. I would do more videos, Rhonda. Sounds good to me. And though, and hearing you talk about it and, and keeping it kind of simple, I, I believe I've been overthinking it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the cancer for years. most entrepreneurs. For years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. dear. Well, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm glad you're not thinking about it now. So when are you going to start doing it? Oh, I'll start this week. Why? What's wrong with today? I have another interview. Huh? <laughs> I have another interview coming up. All you got to do is lift that phone up and say, hey, I'm really proud of this community. I'm going to be doing a lot more with it. I just wanted to introduce my voice to you now because I'm going to be doing a lot more of it via these little videos. Hope you have a great day. If you've got a problem, put it in the comments below and let's chat. Love it. So simple. And that was what? 20? I think that was 21 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Was there any confusion? Nope. Not right. at all. So yeah, there's too many people to think too too long, too hard, and they 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 
calculate themselves into a paralysis. Mm -hmm. So don't overthink things. Lift up the phone. And here's the thing. When you've had a conversation with someone, yeah, imagine one of your friends. Well, when you've had a conversation with someone and then all of a sudden you've got, oh, oh sorry, I've just bit my tongue. When have you ever turned around and gone, hang on a minute, let's cut and then let's redo this conversation? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's never happened, you right. know? So when you're doing videos, people are very scared about, oh, this has got to be perfect. No, it's got to be real. If you trip up on your tongue, just go, sorry about that, I bit my tongue. How many of us bite our tongue? How many of us get our words? So be relatable, be understood. Okay. Be, and be myself. Yep. I will say in advance, I very much appreciate your partner, Sims Distillery and Speakeasy Family. Thank you very much for that trust and faith. Has this helped you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. You I'm know. Gonna... I'm going to stalk you. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be making sure you put some videos up. I will. I will do that. You know, I had a conversation with a friend today about uh, being your authentic self. And that's basically kind of what you just talked about. Just get on video and be your damn self. Be your damn self. There you go. Well, that's your new T-shirt. That's your new mug. <laughs> be your <laughs> damn self. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Love it. Rhonda, thank you very much for, for sharing your problem with us. I hope that helped you. Um, I hope it helped other people watching, and that's the whole point of this series. Right. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the community. All right. Thanks, Steve. See you later. Bye. Hey, this is Steve Sims, and I hope you liked that episode of Being Coached by Steve Sims. Subscribe over here. Watch some other cool videos over here. Or for your chance to be coached by me for the YouTube series, join here at simsdistillery.com.